Hello, this is Ray Main again with today's Bible reading. We're beginning today in chapter, Matthew chapter 7. Judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. That just simply means how you treat other people is how you're going to be treated. And why beholdest thou the mote that's in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that's in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, the beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of the brother's eye. Well, what in the world does all that mean? You ever seen anybody that was just real self-righteous, uh, they thought they had the answer to the whole world and they didn't realize that uh, seemingly that they just, you know, that they had a whole bunch wrong with herself. You ever had anybody look down their nose at you? Now, this is simply telling us, hey, let's get our own house in order before we get so interested in telling anybody else uh, how all the wrong that's in their life. Do you know the people that are, are the, the best child raisers? those that never had any you know the ones that are best how uh, able to tell you how to manage your finances uh, those that never had any money you know those kind of things let's don't do that let's get our own house in order before we start telling somebody else what to do it says give not that which is holy unto the dogs neither cast ye pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Well, what in the world is that all about? Whether you believe it or not, God's word is not for everybody. Personally, I don't talk to anybody about the Lord unless the Lord opens a door. Uh, if the Lord opens a door, then I'm, I try to stand ready to give a reason of the hope that lieth within me. You know, uh, there's a lot of people that don't want to hear anything about God. There's a lot of people that have never heard anything about God. And those folks will do their best to destroy you because whenever you start talking to them about God or you start giving them God's word, basically what you're doing is uh, lighting a fire under them. And people don't like that. Uh, people don't want to change. And the word of God forces a change or at the very least a decision. So just remember that whenever you're talking to people. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. For what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him therefore all things whatsoever you would that men should do unto you do you even so to them for this is the law and the prophets there's not anybody that I'm aware of that I know personally anyway. You see it on the news and stuff people doing this kind of thing but there's not anybody that I know personally that would uh, give poison to their kids that uh, don't want the best for them, that do everything they can to help them, to bring them up, to uh, lead them on in life. And our Heavenly Father does the same thing for us. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to have to stop it here. I'm out of time again. Uh, I'll continue on uh, with the 13th verse in the next video.